Hello everyone, so in this video I'm going to be showing you 5 simple ways to align content in CSS. Ok, so as always we're going to start off in Sublime and you can see here I've linked um, Open Sans which is just a Google hosted font as well as a style sheet, it's in the CSS folder and it's a CSS file called style and that's just open here. So you can see I've applied the asterisks here which is just every single thing on the page and I've set margin 0, padding 0, no list styles or decoration on the text and that's exactly what we want to start off with. So now I'm just going to paste in a div that I created earlier. So it has the class of method1 and the div is what we're going to use as our content. So I've just put some text inside it to explain what it is that we're playing with in our CSS. So if we save this then go into our styles, we can type method1 and finally start to style it. So the important things are display, block, margin of whatever you want. So in this case I'm going to do 20 pixels but this can be 0 pixels, 50%, anything you want. So 20 pixels on the top and bottom and then auto left and right. So if you look at it already you can see that it's centered here but it's not quite centered in the middle yet and that's because we haven't defined its width. It doesn't know what, how wide our, our, our content is. So the way that the display block margin auto effect works is that it works out the width based on what you've told it in the CSS. So in this case, I'm going to say 50% of the body. And then it says, okay, so say, for example, this is 1,000 pixels wide and the um, body is 2,000 pixels wide. It'll then say, what's the remainder after 1,000 is taken away from 2,000? And in this case, it's 1,000. So we'll cut it in half, put 500 pixels on the left, 500 pixels on the right, thus centering it. And this will work every time you resize as well. So using this effect, once you've got it centered, no matter how much you resize the page, it'll always stay centered. So again, I'm just going to paste in some of the more stylistic things just so you can see what it looks like um, and get rid of this now, it's repeated. Um, so now if you look at it, take a look now, boom, just centered right in the middle. The display block thing only accounts for horizontal alignment, so you can see that the text centered inside of this div and that's on account of the padding I placed on it, top and bottom. That actually isn't anything to do with this method. So now we can move on to method two. So I've just pasted in this content here. It's got the class of method two. And this method is a display flex align item center effect. So we save this again in our CSS, go down, paste it in, and now we can start applying styles. So there's a few stylistic things on here that I'll just paste in for you. These aren't important for the tutorial. You shouldn't have to watch me type it out. So this is just saying, set the width to 50%, give the height 60 pixels, text align center, all that good stuff, and um, just some stylistic things. And the important things that you need here is you need it to be display flex, that's important, and then align items. So anything that's inside of this, we're gonna say center, so let's take a look now, I'll give it a background colour of red so we can see what's going on here. You see that there's no padding top and bottom, and um, the text is just contained and centred inside of the div, um, vertically. But obviously we want it to be horizontally aligned as well, so we can do that now. So the next thing that we need to add is justify content centre as well. Now we can get rid of this red background and then take a look now. And you can see it's centered inside both ways. It looks exactly the same as this one, only choose an entirely different property. So now the good thing about using flex is, if we just inspect the element really quickly, you can see how method two, it has a width of 50%. So if I make that larger, it still stays centered. But if I also make the height larger, the text will still stay centered inside it. If I make, if I make it smaller, it'll still stay centered all the way down. So this is perfect for those kind of uses where the box might be resizing using jQuery animation or other means of movement. It's a really good method to use. But you notice now it doesn't quite center it in the middle of the page, which is might be what we want. We might want to center it in the middle of the page also. So that's where method three comes into play. And method three most often is used with alongside method two. So again, I'll just paste this in for you here so you don't have to watch me type it out. And method three is the position absolute and transform translate effect. So again, let's type it in here. Method three and then the purely stylistic things again all the same thing it's just to make it look a bit nicer so that you can see what it's doing and um, this doesn't do anything towards centering it except for the text align center which will obviously just move the text into the center of the div and um, but that's not what we're trying to do here so method three is just an expansion on method on method two so some of the more important things are these this here this is what centers the content inside of the div but now we want to center the div inside of the body as well so now this is where method three comes into play so we're going to set the position to absolute and then left of 50 percent and now if we look at this you see oh, okay so it's set it at 50 percent but the left edge is centered and obviously we want the div to be in the center not the left edge so what do we do here we need to take away 50 percent of the width of the div 
So obviously, you know, if the diff's 500 pixels wide, you take away 250 pixels, but that doesn't solve it because you'll notice that if it resizes the page, when you resize the page, if the div resizes with the page, then it'll have to be dynamically allocated. You'll have to start using jQuery. So this is where the transform translate minus 50% property comes into play, and this is really useful. So type transform translate and then say minus 50%, which means move it 50% of its own width to the left and then zero. So don't do anything with it vertically, just do this horizontally. And now you notice if we refresh, that's perfect. It's dot on in the middle, exactly the same as method one. And it's just an expansion on method two. So you can use these in conjunction with each other as well. Now, method four is the method I would advise the least. And that's because the tag, the center tag we're gonna be using to make this center is obsolete. And um, browsers will still run it, but I'm not sure for how much longer. If you do any tests for your website, it will say don't use the center tag. But this is how it looks. So you type center and I close it off. And anything inside of this will be centered inside of the width of the body. So again, I'm just going to copy and paste the method for content for you and put that inside the center tag. And then you can see already, you know, it's centered it already. Okay, because this is positioned absolutely, it's kind of dragged it up a little bit. We'll fix that in a second. But you can see it's already centered, and there's not even any text align center or anything on this yet, and it still stayed centered. And you know, we you've seen already that there's no styles set yet for method four. It's just positioned itself based on the center tag. So I'm just gonna add some purely stylistic things in here just to make it look like the rest of the things we have here. And then if I refresh the page, it looks exactly the same, only it's done using a different means of centering. And again, I'd advise this one the least, but you know, have a play around with this, see if you can find any uses for it. So you probably noticed by now, uh, there's only four methods. You said there was five. In the title of this video, it says there's five methods to center with CSS. Well, that's because the fifth and final one is the absolute most obvious. And you probably saw it in the intro to this video and didn't even pay attention to it. And that's fine. Method five is literally just text align center. I normally use this for titles and things that are just centered inside of a div, centered inside of, a, of the body. You know, all of the rest of these have used divs to center. But if you use this method, you don't need the div to center. You can just use a simple paragraph tag. So I'm going to put this at the top of the page. And then see, CSS alignment is the title. And then I have some CSS here written for it. So you'll see if I save this, go to our CSS, paste this in, method five, all the stylistic stuff. And then the only thing is text align center. This is all you need, text align center. You could get rid of all of this and this would still work. But I'm just doing this purely for stylistic means. So if we take a look, Bang, exactly what it looked like in the intro. But that's it. That's five simple means of centering using CSS. You know, each one has its own ups and downs. Like again, I wouldn't recommend the center tag, but I'd highly recommend some of the others. Um, but in worst case scenario, when you need the center tag, whether you're just doing some development, you need something to be centered really quickly, the center tag's a fine means of centering as long as it doesn't reach the server. As long as it doesn't go live, I'm sure you'll be fine. Um, but thanks a lot for watching this video. Um, I put a lot of effort into working these out. Um, I use them every single day in my development career in work full time I work for a global charity called World Merit and um, check out their website now we're getting a massive revamp done at the moment and it's going to be absolutely amazing uh, but thanks a lot for watching this video and taking the time to make it this far. I'm not sure how long it'll be in the edit, but the recording duration so far has been 11 minutes. Um, so I'm going to shut up now and let you try some of these things out. Um, I don't think I will put a download link in the description for this. This is kind of pretty self-explanatory. You know, you can use these as and when you need them. But thanks a lot for watching this video, everyone. And I hope to see you back here on this channel again for the next one.